we're gonna do a quick review of this new keyboard from i take that back it's not really new this one i think has been out for a while but this is a keyboard that i haven't taken a look at from mel geek as you can see it's kind of got the whole off-white theme going on okay the mojo 68 mechanical keyboard i wonder if this is wireless need this dongle okay Companies that aren't labeling dongles, like, put your freaking logo on your dongle, bro. Seriously. Seriously. Put your company's logo on the dongle. Do you know how impossible it is for me to keep track of all these dongles I have? Like, literally without keeping the whole box of the keyboard or taping the dongle to whatever product it is? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> but... I don't know. We'll see if these companies ever learn. I understand if you're not a big company, but trust me, make the small investment. Search Mr. B's jobs on Google. We'll see. Maybe if I was a hype beast, um, I would love it. But like, you know, obviously, you know, the keycaps and whatnot, they're a little, they're a little crowded. It feels actually really nice though. So. As you can see, they got like some foam under here. That's kind of nice about the case being transparent. You can see what they got going on underneath the keyboard. I don't know if that's foam or silicone, but we'll check out some stuff on their website. Let's do a quick sound test. See what you guys think about how this thing sounds and then we'll, uh, we'll take it apart and whatnot. All right. Dang, this thing sounds good. This is kind of crazy. How much is, we gotta pull this up on the website. How much is this thing? This is kind of wild. What y'all think of the sound, man? What y'all think of the sound? This is crazy. That's pretty good. That's wild, oh my God. I'm impressed. To say the least, the one that we have is 249. So Gateron Pro white switches. Uh, so south facing RGB hot swap gasket mount design. We'll take a look at it in a second. So plate mount stabilizers that are very well pre lubed. I mean, there's no wow. See through custom program mechanical switches. So pour on layer between the plate and PCB. I like that. Hot swappable, easy. Custom switches and keycaps. Connect up to eight devices. Wow. Infinite RGB backlighting. Honestly speaking though, for 250 bucks, this thing is impressive. Like you, you, you basically don't even have to touch it. Like, I don't even know what I would change this to. Like as far as uh, to make it sound better. I mean, you know, of course you can put different switches in here and whatnot, but it's, it's almost not even worth it. Like the Gateron Pro switches are pre-lubed, which, you know, those are doing a lot of work, but the stabilizers, they lube these things up like crazy. I want to take a look at them in a second. So you can Bluetooth eight devices. So you press this Bluetooth button right here. So I'll go full screen, Bluetooth button right here. And then one through eight will allow you to switch between eight different devices. I mean, that's kind of wild. All right, so obviously function row up here, function and delete, and not function and delete, but function and backspace is delete. And then you got volume controls and media controls right here. 
and then all the other like you know random keys you would have on a 10 key list play pause is enter and then on off for the rgb all right so just cycling through all the colors there for static colors yeah honestly i kind of like this teal gotta love quality teal you know it's very techy Oops. hey that's an easy sell for me and they made play mount stabilizers basically sound pretty amazing i gotta inspect these things it supports five pin switches south facing rgb so you can use whatever keycap profile you want no stabilizer pads which is perfectly fine with me honestly it doesn't need them and stabilizer pads make stabilizers feel mushy the stabilizers they're not clipped but honestly these things are lubed enough and I don't, I don't even think clipping them would be that big of an impact because they're already flat at the bottom so i don't even know if that's really necessary um honestly it's, it's not necessary because the keyboard already sounds really good as it is so wow last thing we got to do obviously is just test it out with the 2.4 gigahertz receiver make sure it games well and i don't feel like i'm losing inputs but we will do that in a bit i am uh my first like product from mel geek i'm really impressed with how this thing looks feels sounds obviously the look is suggestive so maybe i would have personally picked a different model that you know fits my taste a little bit more but experience wise very positive like i would highly recommend looking at this instead of getting a gaming board for example i mean even in something like in comparison to like this newfie air which i've been using this thing a lot over the past like two months i like this, this is really nice for a low profile but the fact that it's not 65 percent kind of bothers me and this is not as portable obviously but it still feels nice 